What's going on, everybody? It's the Hook Cam back again with a prospect preview, player preview, I guess now. Jalen Rager picked 21st overall last night by the Philadelphia Eagles, and this kid is an absolute freak athlete. Ran a 4.47 at the Combine, pushed 17 times, 225. He's got a vert of 42 inches. His broad jump's 138 inches. Uh, this kid is just an absolute freak all around the board, and his athletic ability speaks for itself. I absolutely love this pick. I think it was so clear last year that the Eagles uh, needed help at receiver, and it wasn't necessarily due to a lack of talent. It was more a lack of health, and there was injuries to Deshaun Jackson, to Alshon Jeffrey, and you end up going out there with guys who maybe aren't as prepared as those guys were, just straight up aren't as talented. So what they do is they go and they address the receiver position, and they do it in a way with a kid who is... Uh, supremely athletic who put up absurd numbers at TCU and he did so with a very lacking quarterback core and there were there was a lot of turnover at the quarterback position for Jalen Rager and what those TCU coaches did is they found the best way to put him in a position to win to put him in a position to be athletic and to put him in a in one-on-one -on -one situations where he was going to be able to out athlete outperform and outplay whoever he was lined up against now before I dive into this video if you could if you could hit that like button hit that subscribe button of course to the hook cam i would very much so appreciate that as well as to jackson kruger sports i'm sure that this video will end up over there as well jackson put up like some 20 videos yesterday for the draft i mean the kid is just pumping out content i can't say uh can't say enough how how crazy his work ethic is and it's truly incredible so uh with all of that being said let's dive into a little bit of jalen rager and how he was so good at tcu and once again the core of football offensively sometimes is just being able to put an athlete in space and in this situation we're going to see jalen rager just do a little bit of a backpedal this is a, like a bubble for a lot of guys but in college sometimes they just have him backpedal away from the line of scrimmage boom now what we've done here is pre snap we've taken the numbers right we like the numbers in this situation and this is something that philadelphia will do just in a little bit of a different situation right and i think that philly's at their best as an offense when they take advantage of numbers now when you look at this thing from pre-snap we're going to see two three on two right we got our three receivers out here against our two defensive backs we're going to work up and block with these two cats have our best athlete backpedal out here in space get him the rock let him get you this first down love everything about it love his speed his acceleration off the bat and then lowering a shoulder to finish off that run another just a, another cherry on top for this kid now can he go get the deep ball that's another big question here he is on a skinny post a little blurry there but he goes up high points that ball again having Jalen Rager one-on-one -on -one with a corner or safety and on the Eagles it'll be against that number two or three corner for that other team I think that's a matchup he's going to win now here we are on the goal line a quick little goal line fade he's going to give that quick stutter pop this thing back out to the outside and go once again high point that football that's something that's really difficult to do and it's not like Jalen Rager is a six foot four guy six foot three guy it's not like he's Alshon Jeffrey and he's going to be able to just go up and get that football he's a five foot eleven six foot guy and I know uh, this might be a little nightmarish but he very similar to a Nelson Aguilar right I just think that he has a tendency to be a little bit more athletic you know Nelson Aguilar as much as he he gets some shade from Philly fans he did a lot of good things for the Philadelphia Eagles and he, he was there a lot of times and I think that you know short-term memory happens to to jade that but he did a lot of good things but you know bringing it back to Jalen Rager once again here we go having him go and high point that football against defensive back very difficult to do but it's something that he gets done now this play just talking a little bit about football IQ I had to cut this one a little bit down just because of YouTube restrictions okay but let me just dial this thing up for you quarterbacks rolling out this way Jalen Rager is the number one receiver he ran a comeback over here okay since it's scramble drill he runs a comeback turns this thing into a vertical exactly what you're supposed to do smart football play from him right he shuts this thing down as the quarterback's coming back to him and this ball is highly contested probably shouldn't have been thrown but Jalen Rager goes up and gets it anyway he's he's aggressive he goes up he's competitive he gets the football that's what matters now here's a quick thing of him him, what's his straight line speed like right here he is against texas he's playing oh, this dude's got inside leverage playing off coverage and i mean this is just talking about running a 40 go get it go beat this dude make him flip his hips and cover you and there's not a chance that that kid ever ever was going to call was going to guard jalen rager just a phenomenal not, not even a, a really polished route doesn't have to be just go beat that guy in space you're faster than him you're better than him now 
How does this fit into the Philadelphia Eagles offense? Let's take a look really quick here. Week one, okay, and Aguilar now obviously playing for the uh, Las Vegas Raiders, but this is something that I see Jalen Rager fitting into, right? Deshaun Jackson out at one, Alshon Jeffrey out at your other, number one at, at the top of the formation. Okay, now we got Jalen Rager against arguably the third best corner on that team. We're throwing hot to him here just because we get pressure. I mean, Rager in space is going to be able to do this and then some. Okay, we saw him on that bubble screen be able to turn that thing into a quick 11, 12 yards at the blink of an eye. I think that he's going to be able to do things like that for the Philadelphia Eagles. And again, it's all about putting him in space, letting him go to work. And that's where I think that he really excels. And to be honest, that's where I think this Philadelphia Eagles offense is at its best. They do a great job, and we'll see a couple of clips here when they line up their receivers in, in a pinch or a bunch formation where their two receivers or three receivers are tight within a yard and a half of each other. When they do that, they can create space. They can create a little bit of a pick route you create traffic for defensive backs to work over here's an example here against the falcons again not not uh tight alignment here but just we're bringing heat inside and we throw this thing hot but again this is where i see rager being able to excel because it's one-on-one -on -one coverage right this is just a very easy corner from aguilar this dude's backing up thinking that he's going to get torched deep not a chance we break this thing to the outside you can't tell me that jalen rager is not going to be able to do this and then some Okay, and I think that Rager's probably better in the open field than Nelson Aguilar is. Now, here's an example that I really like, just like what I was saying before, right? We see this bunch formation, and this is really where I think the Eagles were at their best. When you create these this traffic for defensive backs to work through, you create some confusion, right? We're going to sneak Nelson Aguilar over here just again on a nice little corner route, but you create that traffic and you create that confusion. This is where I think they operate at their cleanest, at their best, when they get their athletes in space. And if they can do that with Jalen Rager, I think it's going to be a very successful first year and multiple years coming for him. Okay, now here's another example. This is just a really simple mesh route, and I'm just going to draw attention to these two receivers right here. Okay, we got Ertz and we got Aguilar. Ertz here is at the bottom. Aguilar is here at the uh, at the top. Really simple mesh route. This is just an easy man beater. Okay, uh, we love the spacing here. And again, what does it do? It's creating traffic and it's creating space for your receiver. Look at this dude was in man coverage on Nelson Aguilar. There's not a chance he's getting there. And I see them putting Jalen Rager in those same types of positions where it's man on, not necessarily man on man coverage, but if you can get him isolated against one other guy, you, you have to feel strongly that he's going to be able to do that, especially with, with his yards after the catch ability, which we saw game in and game out from Rager at TCU. Not only that, but the kid's just an athletic freak. He was putting up absurd clean numbers. He was putting up absurd 40 numbers, right? Moving on a little bit, this to me is a route by Nelson Aguilar that I think Jalen Rager will have to work into. I don't think that he can do this quite yet as polished. Obviously, he can do it. It's not like you're not going to let him. But this is going to be a dig route that uh, Aguilar takes into the middle of the field, right? Stems him inside a little bit, really sells that vertical, and then breaks this thing off right into the middle of the field, right? And I think that uh, Jalen Rager needs to work into that. I think that Nelson Aguilar is probably a little bit better at that just because he'd been in the league longer, right? When you're playing in the, in the big Big 12 like Jalen Rager was, everybody's running cover four. Nobody wants to press. Nobody wants to run man coverage because they're going to get torched. You had guys like CeeDee Lamb in that conference. You had offenses like Oklahoma that are just taking advantage of man-to-man -man coverage. Of course, you're going to drop into four. You don't want to get torched. So that's how I think that Jalen Rager is going to make this jump to the NFL. I think that he's going to be very effective if they put him in that position and they kind of highlight him. And Aguilar was good for three, four catches a game. Sometimes he'd pop off for eight catches for 70 or 80 yards and two touchdowns. I, I think that Jalen Rager could do just that and then some in that position. It all depends on where they end up putting him and how healthy the guys are around him. But now I think that the Eagles have built that depth. I like this draft pick. I like it a lot in terms of Philadelphia and how they're building that offense but once again I think that it's most polished when they're running that bunch when they're running those short motions and they're really creating a lot of traffic for defensive backs and defenses to work around so anyway guys that's all I got for this video I hope that you enjoyed I hope that the Eagles are making the picks that you want right because that's what it's about at the end of the day building the team to get back to that Super Bowl run in a division that's very very winnable um, and I hope that you guys like I said I hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video if you could hit that like button hit that subscribe button to the hook cam my channel as well as to Jackson Kruger sports like I said before kids pumping out 20 videos on drafting I don't know how he does it I don't know what his formula is I don't know how he's running around doing all this 
this in the shortest amount of time. The kid is just a terminator when it comes to uh, to making videos and making content. So with all that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Hope everybody's staying safe, staying clean, washing those hands. Hope that we're uh, dialed in to watch the next couple of days of draft uh, of the draft. And uh, that's all I got for you guys today. And I will see you next time.